Hi. So here we are going to learn one more method of finding the prime factors. So we'll learn this method using one more example. And here let's try to factorize 430. So if I want to factorize 430, I'll draw this long line and then a line perpendicular to this. Right. And now I'll think about the smallest prime number which can divide this number. So since it has 0 in units place, so it will be divisible by 2, right? So 2 I'll write over here and 2 2's are 4, 2 1's are 2, 2 5's are 10, right? So we have got 2 1 5. Now it has an odd number at its units place, so it will not be divisible by 2, but it can be divisible by 3. So Will it be divisible by 3? 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 5 is 8. But 8 is not divisible by 3. That means this number is also not divisible by 3. So it will definitely be divisible by 5 because it has 5 at its units place. So if I divide it by 5, 5 4s are 20 and 5 3s are 15. And this 43 is a prime number which will be divisible by either 1 or 43. Right, so 43, 1's are 43. And now if we talk about the prime factors, 1 is not a prime number. So these numbers are the prime factors of 430. So 430 can be written as 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 43. So what are the rules of finding the prime factors in this fashion? First is divisor should be a prime number. Right? And the second rule is you should always start from smallest prime number. So these are the two rules of finding the prime factors of any given number using this method. These are the rules which I usually follow while finding the factors. And definitely there are a few benefits of following these rules. First is you will never use any compound number while finding the factors or you will never find any compound number as the factors. And the benefit of second rule is all the repetition of one number will be found together, right? Like you may have more than one twos or one threes in the list of factors of a number, right? So if you follow the habit of starting from the smallest possible number as divisor, all the factors which are repeating will come together and that actually reduces most of the common mistakes while finding the LCMs and HCFs. So let's take one more example of finding the prime factors. So let me remove all this. So now let's find the factors of 27,000. So if I take 27,000, yes, first I'll draw this vertical line and then I'll draw this line. And since 27,000 has zero at units place, that means it is an even number and the smallest possible prime number which can divide this will be 2. Yes. So if I divide it by 2, 2 1's are 2, 2 3's are 6, 2 5's are 10 and 2 zeros, And again it can be divided by 2 because again we have 0 at units place and 13 can be divided 6 times, 2 6's are 12. 2 7's are 14, 2 5's are 10 and 0, right? And now this can again be divided by 2, 2 3's are 6, 2 3's are 6, 2 7's are 14, 2 5's are 10, right? And now we have 5 at units place, so let's check its divisibility by 3. So 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 7 is 13, 13 plus 5 is 18 and 18 is divisible by 3. So this number should be divisible by 3, right? So let me divide it by 3. 3 1's are 3, 3 1's are 3, 3 2's are 6, 3 5's are 15, right? And again we have 5 at units place which is an odd number and this number is again divisible by 3 because 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4 and 4 plus 5 is 9 which is divisible by 3. So this number will also be divisible by 3. 3 3's are 9, 3 7's are 21 and 3 5's are 15, right? And yes, it is once again divisible by 3. So let me divide it by 3. 
3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 5s are 15. Right? And now if I add all the digits, it is 5 plus 2, 7 plus 1, 8. And 8 is not divisible by 3. Right? So it will no more be divisible by 3. But since we have 5 at units place, so it will be divisible by 5. And if I divide it by 5, I'll get 5, 2s are 10 and 5, 5s are 15. And this is again divisible by 5. 5, 5s are 25. And 5, 1s are 5. So all the 2s we have got together. Right? And then we have all the 3s and then we have all the 5s. Right? So if I write the prime factors of 27,000, the prime factors of 27,000 will be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, 3 2s and then we have 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3, 3 3s and then we have 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. Right? So these are the prime factors of 27,000. So those rules are actually to reduce the mistakes while finding the factors, right? So if you follow those rules, it will become your habit and then you will not do any mistake while finding the prime factors and solving the problems where prime factors are used, right? So bye-bye.